Welcome to Daily Devotions with John Dyer. May I start today by wishing you a very happy Easter. How great it is that we can celebrate the Lord who's risen from the dead, has conquered sin and death. And that's the title of today's devotion is, He is Risen. Our key verse today is taken from Matthew 28 and it's verses 5 till 7. It says, The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he has said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples he has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Now I have told you. We have all experienced the death of someone close to us. And death can seem so cruel, so harsh and so final. And that's what the disciples were feeling when they saw Jesus, whom they had left everything to follow, die there on the cross. They were probably devastated. Like us, they probably went back for their memories, reflecting on the good times that they had with Jesus. They probably would have remembered their memorable statements that Jesus has made. And as they were pondering on Jesus' life and their time together, they probably would have remembered Jesus standing there at the tomb of their close friend, Lazarus. And there, Jesus wept. See John 11, 35. Jesus wept because he knew that death was not part of God's original plan for his people. But standing there at Lazarus' tomb, Jesus also delivered these hope-filled words. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. John 11, 25. Death is not the end, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ proves it. I have read that possums are quite smart animals, because they won't enter a hole if there's only one set of tracks going into it, because they know that there's something in there. But if there's two tracks, one going in and one coming out, the possum will enter, and not be afraid, because he knows the last animal to make it in also made it back out. And the message of Easter is that we can enter the grave and we don't have to fear death, because there's tracks leading out of the tomb. Paul preached the proclamation of Easter when he said, Where, O death, is your victory? Where, O death, is your sting? The message we need to hear this Easter is this, Jesus is risen. He has the power not only to lay his life down, but to take it up again. Please pray with me. Our Father, we thank you again on this victorious day as we remember Easter, as we remember that Christ not only laid down his life for us, but that he had the power to take it up again. Father, we thank you that he is alive, that our faith, our hope is built on the resurrection of Jesus Christ, that we serve a living God, not some important man of history who died and That's it. But Father, we thank you that Christ reigns on high, sat at your right hand, and that he's coming back again on our white horse. So Father, we wait in expectancy as we await for your calling of us back to yourself. But Lord, we thank you that we need no no longer fear death because we have confidence, we have certainty that we serve a Lord, a God who conquered death for us. Father, we thank you that you give us eternal life in Christ. Father, we thank you for all Easter is and all you've done for us. In Jesus' name, amen.